Hey guys, welcome back to the Soundful Farm YouTube channel. Today is our Thursday devotional. Um, to just get started, the, um, what I'm going to be doing my devotional on today is Matthew 12, 34. That's the verse I'm going to be doing. I'll go ahead and tell you it. Matthew 12, 34 is out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So today I'm just going to be pretty much just breaking that down for you guys and explaining what it means to me. Okay, so just a little bit of a warning, guys. We are in the car because we've been super busy lately. Um, so this Thursday devotional is going to be in our car. So just so you guys know, that's why it looks unfamiliar from where we've done the rest of our Thursday devotionals. Um, but like I was saying with Matthew 12, 34, with out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. When I first... Um, a while back when I first learned that verse and I was reading it, it was eye-opening to me for, for me to realize that uh, how important it is what is in your heart and sometimes you don't even know what's in your heart until you say it. And it's it was not amazing but it was eye-opening like I said to realize that whatever is in my heart, whatever, even though I not, may not be um, thinking it, it comes out because it's what um, has been Either what I've heard, like from someone who has said or called me that or something, or I just think that, but I don't come out and say it. Well, after a while, you become in the habit of thinking those things, and it just comes out before you realize. Um, so, like for example, we were outside playing one time, and one of my siblings uh, made me get really mad at them. They did something that I didn't like, uh -huh. and I called them a name that I should not have called them at all. And it was uh, a correction for me to remember that verse because after I said it, I immediately knew that I should not have said it, but it came out anyway because I was thinking that in my mind and before I could stop it, it just came out because uh, whether or not I meant it or not, it was what I had been thinking and what was in my heart and it just came out before I could even stop, uh, stop and think about what I was going to say for just a couple of seconds and it came out and it hurt their feelings and I couldn't take it back because it tore them down and I couldn't just take it back. Of course, you know, you can say you're sorry and all that different stuff, but that doesn't make a difference. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. You can't, you can't take back what's already come out of your mouth and it was something that we all have to work on is before you even well, one of the things you can do is before you say something, you need to think about it and think it through and not just come out and say what you're thinking because sometimes it's better to speak up for something that you feel is right. It's also better to just sometimes stay quiet and let your voice be heard sometimes and also other times you just need to stay quiet because though sometimes maybe you're thinking badly about someone and um, in your heart and in your mind, you may be thinking about that person wrongly, but when it comes out, it's not, um, it's, it hurts them in the long run, and it's not good. Um, so that, that's the verse in a nutshell of, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks, Matthew 12, 34. It's to show you that no matter what you may be thinking or feeling towards a person or whatever it may be that's bothering you, if it's in your heart and if that's what's bothering you, then that's what's going to end up coming out of your mouth, even if it's painful and hurts someone in the long run. You know guys, for example, like I was saying, you can't take back words that come out that overflow from your heart out of your mouth. You can't take those back and for example, um, if you squeeze all the toothpaste out of a bottle, you can't put it right back. Uh, and that just goes to show you that though you may try and you may try, maybe you'll get a little bit back in there, but you won't be able to always get the rest of it in there um, and make it back to what it was and back to how it was when it came out of that box or out of that tube can't ever get it back and that just goes to show you like words that that's what happens um, I hope you guys enjoyed this devotion happy Thursday um, I hope you guys can apply this to your day and to the rest of your week so have a blessed day and don't forget to subscribe